Hey guys, how are you? Good morning. Today I'm gonna film a vlog while taking pictures for my website and I wanted you guys to be with me. So I'm gonna do sort of a vlog. This is the first time I'm gonna do it. So just let me know if you like this below after I finish this video. I don't know if I'm gonna post it. So I'm gonna put my makeup routine uh, in fast forward and I'm gonna take clips of everything I do. A lot of the things are gonna have only music but you're gonna be just part of the process because I'm not gonna be talking but you're gonna be part of the process so I just wanted to let you guys know that this is something that I want to do on my channel maybe from time to time when I have a styling type of situations where I have to work with people or where I have to do some work um, on my own so that's it you guys if you want to see this little blog for taking pictures for my styling website then just keep on watching Okay, so I just pulled out my favorite products and these are the products that I'm going to be using for my photo shoot. These are products that I mostly use on my clients and a few other products that I pulled out are products that I just need to use and start using up because I finished a few things for my project can. So I'm going to put this on fast forward. I'm really nervous for this video you guys because um, and I'm really nervous for the photos because nobody ever take pictures of me like in a professional way it's always my brother or my husband and it's just something different that I'm doing today and I talk to you guys on camera but I never do live videos or I never um, I never really interact with the camera unless I'm on my own. Nobody's with me when I'm filming. So it's something different. Even if it's pictures, it's something different because it's somebody that I don't know that uh, um, works beautifully because he works with a friend. But it's just, it's just hard. It's just something that I'm not used to. I never really do my brows on camera or I cut it short but here you can see um, what I do now that my brows are microbladed This is truly 10,000 times easier than it used to be because now I have my brows mapped out for me and even though I'm a makeup artist, I feel like brows on other people are easier to do for me than brows on myself. Because my clients want a more natural brow and I'm more on the tough brow or the harsh brow, I love the brow looking like a brow but how many times can I say brow? Looking like a brow but looking bold at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a cool tone look and I'm gonna be using my Frankie palette. So these I'm also gonna fast forward, but I'm in love with my Frankie palette and I don't wanna show it to you really because I already hit pan in the shade that I wanted to hit pan. I only wanted to hit pan in one shade and I already did. So let's just keep going because this video, if not, is gonna be so long and I'm not gonna be able to edit it down and I want it to be less than 10 minutes so that I can post it on my IGTV as well.
One of you guys asked if I use this eyeshadow wet. It doesn't need to be wet. It's a beautiful foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and it needs nothing. It's just perfect. You can see how bold it, it is. I'm not using Fix Plus or anything. Today I'm gonna wear lashes because it's gonna be a photo shoot but I like to put the coats of mascara that I like to put on because maybe when I get home I will just remove my lashes, I'm not sure yet. But I'm gonna use Bellure lashes. So I'm not gonna put them on camera because I have never done that and for me my nails are something that cripples me from putting lashes so that's why I use um, sort of a lash tweezer but it's hard for me to put them on myself since I never put them on and it's a different process. And I just don't feel like filming it because it's gonna take forever. And every time I want my skin to look more natural, I just uncover my birthmarks and the brush has nothing except a brush cleaner so the solution inside of this just helps me uncover and like sort of destroy the makeup in the places where I want to destroy it and it works beautifully for uncovering my my birthmarks. If I want to create a birthmark, I will go in with my precisely my brow. Okay, guys. So I think I found my victim. This is gonna be the top that I'll be wearing. This is a top that it's sort of a dress in the back, and I'm gonna wear it with black pants and um, black shoes, and that's gonna be more elegant but in a way it's gonna be comfortable because I have a big booty and I don't like it to be just displayed everywhere and it's gonna be pictures and it's gonna be for my business for image styling so I don't want my booty to be the main thing that shows on my pictures if that makes any sense. So this room is a mess but this is gonna be the outfit just the top because I'm thinking about putting pants instead of shorts but i love wearing shorts so i thought that would show my essence a little bit more i wouldn't look older in a way but i'm gonna try it out with just black um black skinny pants and i'll show you guys the other outfit but this top is beautiful i'm in love with it surely okay so this one is a complete fail because i thought that my black skinny pants were high enough but I don't want my belly showing. So I'm going with the shorts for the first outfit. And the vibe of my mirror is not that it's that dirty because it's dirty, but it's not that dirty. It's because it's an old mirror. It was from my grandma and I need to change the glass, but I haven't. So that's why it looks like it's it has uh, dust in it, but it doesn't. Hey guys, so now I'm gonna pack the things that I'm gonna take for a change of clothing and um, I'm gonna pack my bag and that's gonna be a big bag because I have a service that's called the smart suitcase or the the dream suitcase and it's uh, for people that want to travel and want someone to pack their stuff for them you're gonna see me pack now but the things that I'm gonna pack they are actually things that I'm gonna change my outfit to Okay guys, so I'm gonna stop filming for a while because I'm gonna do some breakfast. I'm really hungry and I always do intermittent fasting, but today since I'm gonna go straight to work, 
and I'm not gonna be here at home. I do breakfast and then um, I'll continue my day and I won't eat lunch and I will eat at the end of the day. Okay, so I wanted to show you my breakfast. It's gonna be um, eggs with mozzarella cheese and then some tomatoes, tomato cherry, and then sour cream. And just carbonated water because I'm on a keto diet. This is nice, but I need to eat green, so I will eat them at night. Dame más, dame más. Pero no importa. No, no importa. Ya te que queden todas, o sea, espérate. No, para que él sea feliz. Toca mejor a ti. No, pero mejor que se vean. Yo también pienso que mejor que se vean asimétricos. Me cae bien. Sí, pero esa tela para. Si no, hazme ver hidratado el pie por edición, no. Creo que el verdadero compromiso, no se dando cuenta. Así es. Sí, M1160. Está chévere. Ella es increíble. Eso que es chévere. Es un mural. Es un... Pero que me da placa, acuérdate. Y mira este, mi amor. Y entonces me toca ponerlas un poquito azules para que se vea más o menos, porque si no la gente se ve súper amarilla, amarilla. Eso pasa. 